keeping warm in the middle of the Sahara Desert. Mohamed Amouman and his family huddle together. They are Tuaregs living in Niger, West Africa. Like most Tuaregs, their life revolves around moving to wherever they can find food and water for their livestock. For a few months, they will tend their livestock here before moving on. They have known no other way. As Dankara, we wake up very early in the morning and make tea, if we have it. If we don't, when the sun rises, I'll go and see the camels, which are even further away. Tuaregs lead a simple nomadic life. But of late, they have witnessed the growth of towns and cities. And some now feel they're missing out on the benefits of modern living, running water, electricity and education for their children. Tuaregs are also demanding a share of the land's mineral wealth. They have already attacked uranium mining concessions this year. They say they are not seeing any of the benefits from an industry which is now the country's chief export earner. Their quest for a greater say has the support of some of Niger's leaders. If we're going to continue with all this mining, some part has to be for the improvement of the living conditions of the people. If you tell me that with one gram of refined uranium, you can provide energy for seven households for three weeks, how come we can't use one gram a year so that people have water to drink? But Niger's government insists that the Tuareg must abandon their nomadic lifestyle before they are able to benefit from any investment. Settling permanently in one place is an idea that is currently far from the minds of Mohammed and his fellow tribesmen. At least not while they are in the middle of the desert. And so, while proud of their heritage, the Tuareg now accept that without change, their present lifestyle will be difficult to sustain. Mohammed Ado, Al Jazeera.